Oh. Hey, welcome back to Gooseberry Homestead. The little kid's next door hitting himself in the face and he's being silly. Um, I'm standing here with my son and we're going to do a quick video and he's showing me the forest. What's in the forest, Ryan? Oh, Airbus. Airbus. He's, it's duty. Oh, he thinks he sees an airplane in the forest. I sure hope not because they're not supposed to land in the forest back here between our houses and the, the roads. All right, so we're, I was gonna do a video. Wait, my son's trying to grab my arm. <laughs> and I got my, ouch, I got my, got my, um, my camera here. So I'm gonna do a quick video because I have a lady coming to pick up one of these four um, gooseberries. And these are uh, the gooseberry that I had grown from seed that is um, also another European variety. And they are, um, when they do start producing gooseberries, they will have gooseberries that are like the size of those large grapes, so bigger than a quarter, okay? And um, don't let the little size of these gooseberries fool you one bit. Uh, a lot of the green that you see on them right now, the green, green stems, that is all new growth this year. However, they were covered in aphids, and the aphids, um, were really bothering me and so I just um, trimmed off a lot of the extra leaves and I left the majority of all the stems and I just opened them up so that uh, the they had more room to breathe so it would promote a little bit less aphids attracted to them and um, a chance for less disease to set in so um, I really opened them up and I'll zoom in here I'll just bring the camera a little bit closer so that you can see how I open them up and that sort of thing and so they still they kind of remind me of like little tiny um, uh, like little bonsai <laughs> like little bonsai uh, gooseberry plants and so um, but they will eventually get really big um, with the they need to be put into some bigger pots this year and they will and that'll help promote um, growth and um, more fertilizer um, underneath like with um, some really good uh, cow manure or chicken manure or or anything like that will really help I did add some other types of topical um, uh, fertilizer as you can see in the tops of the pots this um, you water it in and it slowly leaches into the water and then into the plant so I did that It's a little bit more gentle in that that way but it could use a, a bigger pot and so that they can have more room to expand and get a little bit bigger but I opened up the centers so that there's more airflow and I checked them over this morning and I only found like maybe two to three aphids on them and so that is that is key I'm telling everybody who gets them from from me any of my gooseberries they are prone to aphids and so um, that's something to watch for. You want to make sure that you're spraying them. You can put neem oil into um, a spray bottle and you can spray off the leaves and stuff like that. And it does not hurt the leaves. It does not wilt the leaves. I've sprayed these many times and um, it really helps keep those, those bad bugs off of the plants and sucking. I think that's what was promoting them or keeping them smaller is because the aphids were on them so heavily. Now these are the four that I'm offering for sale. And I'm not offering um, the pots with them. So I'm actually going to be heading into my house here in just a few moments. And I'm going to be grabbing some little tiny small priority boxes that I can open up and create like a little carrying case for her. Because my pots are staying here. The pots are not part of the deal. They go to this um, stand that I have them in here. And I'll show you the four that I'm keeping for myself. Since I do only have four of the other gooseberries that I'm keeping for myself, I decided I will just keep four for myself. And um, that way, um, I have four and four. It's an equal number. So I put these ones back here. Here's one of the bigger ones that I'm keeping for myself. And I need to spray them again. So it looks like I'm needing to spray the... Um, I'm needing to spray these and there's a little grasshopper on there or something oh it flew away and um, so here's this one I'm keeping for myself and I did the same things with these I opened them up and then this one's back in this corner here and after I have sold all of the gooseberries I'll be moving these ones back over 
onto the um, stand, but I don't want people to see them because they'll want these ones. And these ones I'm keeping for myself. And so here are some of the clippings that I took from all of them and I just stuffed them into the ground. We'll see if they root. So I'll keep you guys um, updated on if they root or not. We'll know because they'll either stay green or um, they'll start growing and getting bigger. So we'll just wait and see. Leave them in there the rest of the year. All, all good things. But I am going to be getting some bigger pots here soon. Maybe within the week. So be watching for that. I might get um, the same pot that I have these other ones in over here. That way they will be in a pot that I'm going to be keeping them in while we're here. And then I won't have to go up another size. So everything's looking good. And that is what I'm showing you for today. And yeah, I've got things going on here. The goji berries are actually getting a lot bigger. I'll just, I see you see your doggy. And um, in here, the goji berries are doing really well in the greenhouse and they are starting to get bigger and the leaves are getting darker green. And there, are, this one's actually starting to put on little leaves on all of the buds, or most of them anyways. So that's really good. So I'll be able to start, I'll be able to sell those here very shortly. So I'm thinking I'm just gonna sell them $4 a piece because they're kind of small. And I don't need a ton of goji berry plants. I already have one that I'm keeping for myself over here in my, um, along the side of, we've been out here relaxing all day um, in the sun and putting our feet up on the other chairs. So my son and I and the dog, we're all just out here relaxing. So here's my other goji berry right here. And then there's another smaller one that is for my mother on the back side there. But that's my goji berry. And uh, so yeah, and then I did a couple other little things today. I put one of my starts for my lemon verbena in the ground and I switched it out and I put my um, sage that I had in the ground because the sage didn't grab onto the other roots uh, onto the ground the roots didn't grab onto the other ground so I moved them into a container pot and I uh, got them up off the ground so Walter can't pee on them and then over here I put a the lilac start right there and I hard to see it right there and so I did that and it was in this pot here it's gonna do good in the ground right there so that's that that's the gooseberries and it'll take a couple days for the um, for the rosemary over here to uh, perk back up I sprayed it down and the new growth kind of like just laid over just a little bit but it, in a day it'll perk back up and then I've got some starts from the uh, olive herb over there but yeah, that's it for now, you guys. Thanks for watching my videos. Comment, like, and subscribe, and click the bell button to see more of my videos and to be notified. And as always, have a wonderful day. And Walter says...